Greetings. Today is the day of the dead. Just think, if instead of being alive in an elevator right now, you were buried in Mexico, people would be eating and drinking and dancing on your grave. Anyway, how many of you are there? One, two, three. We are prepared for such numbers. Are any of you first time riders? Fantastic. Newcomers are always welcome. Yes, they are. And I'm sure you'll welcome the extra instructions we intend to give you during the game. Player one, how many languages do you speak fluently? Okay, that's fine. Player two, how many languages do you speak fluently? Thank you very much. Player three, how many languages do you speak fluently? Yes, thank you. Your buzzer player one is Q, that's Q, as in Queen of Sheba. Player two, your buzzer is the letter B, that's B, as in Thug Juice. Player three, your buzzer is the letter P, as in Podunk. Enjoy the ride. See you at the bottom. show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by Ye Old Booze Shoppy, slurring your speech since 1777. And now here's your host, Buzz. Hey, 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 how you doing? Welcome to You Don't Know Jack the Ride. My name's Buzz, and I'm going to be your guide on your trip down. What's at the bottom, you say? Well, let's just say it's a surprise. Oh! Surprise? Buzz? Helen, what's the deal? What the hell is Buzz doing here? Wait a second. Stand by, please. Cookie? Helen, the trap door in the booth is open. C Cookie, what did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Jesus, Cookie, that trap door goes to the bottom. The bottom? Yes, the bottom. Wow, that's kind of scary. Buzz was supposed to be there, Cookie. There's been a change in the lineup. You're not going on again until after Buzz, Schmitty, and Guy. Oh, come on. I'm into my second episode here. Now, now you're sending me all the way down to the, the, the 350th floor or something? Cookie, get out of the booth. Ray, could you get Guy up here to host, please? You know something? Guy's down on the Hollywood floor harassing Keanu Reeves. I don't think you're going to find him in time. Uh, fine, Cookie. Fine. You can keep going. Happy now? I'm just here to do my job, Helen. Let's just get on with it already. Hey, I'm all about you. And now, here's your host, the one, the only, Cookie! Hey, welcome to the game. I hope all that time spent on the phone refined your language skills, because you're going to have to talk yourself out of this one. Okay, first off, got to give you your screws. Here's a bunch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm going to tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're going to be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're going to make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flakjack. <laughs> All right, get ready to ride, and hey, watch your language. It's up to you, player three. Hit your buzzer to select a value. Well, you win some, you lose some badly. Here's the category. Gossip, the international language. Ah, gossip. You know, in my experience, if there's one thing that loosens lips, it's alcohol. And, uh, it looks like ye old booze shop left some samples here. Hmm, what to do? Probably not a good idea for me to toss back a few brewskis during this game, but hey, they're free and I'm thirsty. You don't mind, right? Well, oh, what the heck. Alright, let's get going. If your click started speaking one of the click languages, where would be the most appropriate place for you and your friends to hang out and gossip? Rural America? Player one, hit it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. 
The click languages are African languages, but I don't know how many malls you and your punk-ass friends will find over there to inhabit. Player one, buzz in and choose a value for us. Okay, give it up for... We will bury you with a foreign tongue. Okay, you ready for this question? 3997 is on the table. Here it is. Suppose English language episodes of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie were to be broadcast in Russia. If heard by Russians who didn't speak English, what would the title sound like? Doll blah 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 blah, mother blah 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 blah, vodka blah 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 blah, or dog boy blah 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 blah. Player three, make it happen. Don't stop with the S key, keep doing it! Player three, who do you want? Alright, player one, time to play multiple. Huh? All right. <laughs> player two, player three, the time is now. All right, let's take a look at the right answer. Kukla is Russian for doll. And I'm guessing Russian viewers of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie will be thrilled. These are probably the best special effects they've ever seen.